Hi, this is Dr. Justina Agnieszko Chevalier. This video will be about next or fourth exercise that is needed to establish in mind analysis, in mind content, fact of being in love with someone in a serious way, in which in mind there is enough basis to reject and such instinct present in real life relationships or pursuit of relationships uh, of such sexual serious nature and inability to not be upset or sad when less serious relationships are offered or presented to self including willingness to not to have children with anyone else we can determine that from mind content each of us and i encourage each to do such knowing so uh, i wrote uh, it on paper so i don't miss it knowing so actually provides enough knowledge about necessary components that have to be present in own mind and then in pursuit in reciprocity and pursuit of reciprocity in uh, uh, collaboration of uh, such state of mind in another person to undertake any sexual relationship to spur persons learning by pursuing later on repented in or degrading to self or other types of sexual activities that become then asexual and that is called mind expansion because it is pleasant pleasurable and it is in drugless devoid of any medication way described here as knowledge and in mind content pleasure determines who is the person that is actually the one to pursue or allowed to approach and corroborate the same state of mind in pursuit of intimacy, intimate talk, uh, and some ascending in proportions to arising emotion and mutual respect, sexual relationship and activity. That I uh, call mind expansion. Mind expansion realization in uh, education is meant for all persons who are in doubt who when being males who to pursue and when being women who to allow for on the phone numbers in personal way and to remark that this is to establish that person as a romantic suitor for a hand of a lady be it young or elder lady and who to and when to inform that all other relationships are of less re 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 relevance because that person is by biological and mental state of the other forced to wanting and loving that person to have with that person only children and it is then in hopes that the person will reciprocate and basis to non-pursuit of uh, further marriages that are less serious or impeded by mind content and so that is described in the components of a relationship. I made it as a progressive, a, um, progressive uh, ascending mind content that happens to, I believe all of us, though I uh, uh, only read that in some, especially in my native uh, uh, language in Polish, as well as in English uh, many times, in Spanish less so. A, um, literature. I hope that you can hear me because uh, somebody is speaking outside of uh, my room in this uh, bed and breakfast. That is to start with with first. So that is called mind expansion. how much time I have. Okay. 
So first component of that is appearance of perception of love for a person of opposite gender that enables in mind arousal or sexual arousal in pleasure that usually is manifested as combination of love and bodily impressions consistent with such which is pleasurable thinking in the tingling in the area of genitals and arousal of desire caused by love for that person and it often occurs spontaneously and is derived by perception of being loved by that person goodness of that person and in recognition of that person as possible source of offspring and adult love that elevates self being of opposite gender to such a role that desire has to then in mind or in dreams and visions of that mind be it awake or asleep ascend and for that there needs to be envisioned reciprocity which means in mind in dreams awake or asleep or as visions impossible to help visions that person's physical form and such characteristics as voice and other identifiers specific to that person's physical form appears and that person when self perceives being in state of sexual arousal appears as sexually first aroused and grateful for such which manifest itself in emotion of adoration fascination with self as a person of opposite gender i called that before and described as feedback of delight so envisioning of person being aroused and touched emotionally happy about presence in self of sexual arousal and adoration for that person creates feedback next in which self and visions or has dreams awake or asleep of that person's visible signs of sexual arousal and love and from that derives again sense of being emotionally uh, moved touched strong selves of love for that person other uh, person adoration for that person and ascension in own sexual arousal that causes then again vision of that person of love and adoration back for self being of opposite genders and feeling such desire and love for that person and sexual arousal to that then in mind usually added are visions or dreams of physical touch and physical contact so self and visions being kissed or touched or approached uh, uh, or seeing that person undressing and self derives from that sexual pleasure arousal in the sexual pleasure and then adoration back in gratefulness that is as impulse generated by our sexual arousal to pursue touch and stimulation of that person or undressing of that person that in that person again a sense in sexual desire and adoration back and and gratefulness and impulse to pursue back physical contact then that a sense to fusion of emotion and desire to so-called sexual sexual ecstasy and in that sexual ecstasy actually person do not anymore distinguishes in mind sex and love it becomes the same emotion and then what appears is pursuit of merging of genitals and stimulation pleasurable ones of deeper reproductive organs and these often are accompanied by pursuit of vision of such happening 
and visions of such happening in that person. So stage of arousal to prep to prepare for conception of a child in that person, which causes a more intense even sense of a desirous love, sexual ecstasy, then vision of having sexual act intercourse or dreams of such that ascend in pleasure in mind of that person to an orgasm and in such orgasm that involves in mind and body when person is alone or when pursuing an object that is envisioned voluntarily or not as such specific person or a person who is voluntarily or not envisioned as that preferred loved person it leads to a um, adoration and sexual ecstasy and orgasm of that person and arousal of grief if one is alone with foreign object with someone else or with any porn material that grief is profound grief and feeling of uh, loss of loss because of uh, an a idea out of a sudden that it is that person only that one wants to have a child with and grief of not such having happening feels as if the body wants to shrink wants to hide grief involves strong feeling of missing and deprivation of that one person not the one who one has to envision to endure that sex or suddenly realized one pursued the wrong person based on that existing mind content and act or such objects or videos songs etc that sense of grief and loss impedes further sexual relationship or such satisfaction creates sense of depression lack of satisfaction with that sex and sense of wanting to escape from it divorce or break up not continue watching any videos or movies a sense of uh, wanting to throw those objects that uh, ate uh, or pillows that uh, are kissed and also sense when one was touching self of being alone a, a deep deprivation in being alone as opposed to wanted solitude of that specific person and combined as if that person in mind uh, is uh, is being present grief of such nature and wishes like it's the best thing ever of a child with itself create sense of bond deep profound bond and humbleness towards that specific person and reciprocity of such an elevation of self-esteem to base on that impossible to help sexual love-based fidelity that impedes all other relationships and marks all other types of sexuality as degrading and it is not possible then to pursue any other sexual act that is not leading to such seriousness and magnitude of relationship and that if that is not possible then to pursue in real life or when pursued that person has not demonstrated the same uh, state of mind or being in love and the same envisioning and living such states as opposed to having something with somebody else and that is also uh, often if such is not possible or when pursuit rejected or not contrasted with reality source of as if on autopilot vows and fidelity vows or perception of having such appearing in mind as coming from that person such as marriage or vows for life source of uh, conversation as well as then visions of marriage and life together that are binding to celibacy and binding to fidelity and to rejections of all others this is normal and then the next step to do is to corroborate in real life if that person feels that way